Kevin Clark already being considered the MVP for the next WNBA season. Make sure you guys get in here, subscribe to the YouTube channel, thumbs up, like the video. Let's go. Kaylin Clark won the rookie of the year. No brainer. I don't know why we said through months and months of trying to even think that anybody else would get that. Uh, but she did get the rookie of the year and she also finished fourth in the MVP voting during her rookie campaign behind Brianna Stewart, Nafisa Collar, uh, and Asha Wilson. And we all know that Asha Wilson was the winner of the MVP, but it goes to show you the importance of Kaylin Clark. It seems like they're already having Kaylin Clark withdrawals, though the ratings are significantly better, you know, this time uh, of year versus last year. Uh, it is still a drop in the percentage because Kaden Clark is not obviously in the playoffs. These uh, these odd makers are not foolish. The trajectory based off of just her rookie year that she is going to do great things for the league for the years to come. It's crazy because you see so many other things going on. You see other things happening behind the scenes for the WNBA. And I will be making a video about how the WNBA wants to go from the traditional playoff uh, rounds uh, I think they were at the first round was three. The next two rounds will be five to a seven game series. Why all of a sudden after Kaitlyn Clark's rookie year would they wait to do this? Why would they, this is something that they could have done way before Kaitlyn Clark came into the league, but because Kaitlyn Clark is so good, must watch TV. They know that they're going to make a lot of money. If Kaitlyn Clark is in the playoffs and these playoffs are going full seven game series, Round after round, oh my goodness, the WNBA is going to make a lot of money. Thanks to Caitlin Clark, though. This post comes from a guy named David Eichholz or something like that. I don't know how to pronounce your name, brother. But anyway, it goes on to say DraftKings has released the odds for next year's WNBA MVP. Aja Wilson leads the pack at 200. Now, mind you guys, this is a vet, uh, right, the, who, who has earned three MVPs. <laughs> And then you see Kaitlyn Clark has the second best odds at 250. That isn't too far apart. Uh, if you ask me, I think that Kaitlyn Clark is going to have an impact year. Again, I think that Kaitlyn Clark, barring that she isn't stabbed in the eye again, or that she isn't injured, I think that with the new president in place of the Indiana Fever, I think that with her making changes to this team and letting these Angry women know that Kaitlyn Clark should be protected, shall be protected. And if you don't want to do that, then you need to go about your business. I think that Kaitlyn Clark is going to be set up. Um, I don't know if Christy Siles will still be the coach or not, but I'm just looking at all the movements going on in the background so far. And I do think that Kaitlyn Clark has a huge chance, barring that she isn't injured, to get this MVP. I would like to see that. I actually would. But what I would want to see most is Kayla Clark actually compete for a championship in her early year, years, at least on her rookie contract. Let's be honest, it's rookie contract. It doesn't even matter. Uh, they get paid so low. But I just want to talk about how important <laughs> Kaylin Clark has been to the WNBA and how this is just, this is just crazy. Um, put the WNBA on the map. A lot of people didn't know about the WNBA. We, we, we knew about the WNBA. We just didn't care. Um, and honestly, if Kayla Clark isn't on TV, we still don't care, but you know, I see big things happening for the WNBA. As long as Kayla Clark is here, I don't even know if the Angel Reese thing is even a, a topic anymore. I don't know if it's a robbery like that. Uh, Kayla Clark seemed to beat them three out of four times that they played. Same thing she did with the, uh, the, 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 the same thing she did to Diana Taurasi as well. No shocker there. Jump in the comment section here. You see Kaylin averaged over 40 points per game, scored or assisted after the Olympic break. This league has never seen a more potent offensive player. So if she improves her defense this offseason and they get a better coach in FA who helped them finish higher than fourth, I could see Clark being the MVP. And that's what I just told you guys. I kind of just touched bases on that as well, guys. Uh, you see here, Fee, Nafisa Collar is doing her thing, guys. I'm not going to lie. The girl is tough. Uh, Fee should be number one, in my opinion. CC and Aja, number two. Got to still give respect to Aja, even though she's a hater. Uh, she still has good game. Uh, we, sh <laughs> we should ask Gino what he thinks about that. Uh, if you guys know, Gino Smith played last night. Uh, 
Uh, it's just an inside joke. If you didn't watch when he was like, what the F are y'all doing? I don't know. We'll see if the WNBA plays along with this. Uh, God forbid the white girl gets too much shine and the sisters don't get anything. That could be a whole different conversation, but I want to hear from you. What do you guys think about Kaitlyn Clark's MVP odds? Do you agree with the placing, her coming in second? Do you think that she'll be higher or lower? Let me know in the comment section, guys. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Peace. Yeah.